Fucking Christmas Eve, I was watching Fuck Knows, Phone Goes. Who's this? Alright, Didi, it's Freddy, your nephew Freddy. Alright, Freddy, long time no here. What's happened? Nothing's happened. Well, I got married actually, and we're having a wee housewarming Christmas dinner tomorrow, that type of thing. Aye. So I phoned your dad, he's coming, but he said good luck in trying to get you to come. Said you like just keeping yourself to yourself and that. Aye. But honestly, it's not a big do, just friends and family. It'd be good for everybody to see each other again. Aye. So, you into it? No. <laughs> Alright. But at least think about it, and I'll get a phone in the morning, alright? Alright, I'll think about it. Cool. Speak to you later. So I thought about it, and I thought, nah. And I conked it. Then about an hour later, I get to woke up. Didi. But this mad voice. Didi. Gone like that. Didi. What? It was my old mate Jake. Your deed. And he starts telling us if I don't change my ways and that, I'll end up with him, chained to a couch forever. It's fucking magic. But he said it wasn't the magic, and his other thought would be a lang to try and talk some sense into us. Then he buggered off. I just put the whole experience down to a flashback or something, or an undigested ecker that's been sitting in my gut since 19 canteen, ready to pounce. I just laughed it off. Until... <coughs> Fuck's going on? I am the ghost of Christmas past. And this lassie starts showing us when it all went tits up for us. Yeah. About 20 years ago, when my old bird Leanne got us this game for a Mega Drive. It was like Candy Crush, couldn't get half the fucking thing. Bastard. So she left us. Said I was more interested in getting to level 100 than I was in her. So sad. And it was sad, but I did it. Ended up getting to level 206. Had to hold in a pish for about 24 hours to do it. But I did it. That was out of order. And that was that. Until... And this guy goes... I'm the ghost of Christmas present. And he starts showing us about this Christmas Eve party. Tell me that this is what I'm missing out on. Everybody having a pure laugh and getting wrecked. Look no bad. I mean, he's been on the bench the entire season. All right, I know that's a wee bit of an exaggeration, but pretty much the whole season. What was the point in us singing him if we're not going to play him? Right. So I was looking at sticking him in that school when he leaves the nursery, because that's the feeder school for the secondary school. One of the mums at the nursery told me that, no, if you want to get in there, you need to be in the right catchment area. Brain damage. Then I spots my nephew, Freddy. The thing is, what's the point in signing him if you're not going to play him? What a shite. And that was that. Thank fuck. Until... <coughs> the lashing. The ghost of Christmas. For the future. Shows me my gravestone. And it was all market and minging. Cause the way I'm going, nobody will give a fuck. And I just said, Good. Cause I don't want tons of pals all missing me and all greeting their eyes out. I don't want folk tripping up here to clean my gravestone in the freezing cold when I could be something good on the telly. I like things just the way they are. And I was about to tell the ghost how much I appreciated all the effort they put in to try and change my mind. But he didn't want to hear it. <laughs> and that really was that. I felt pure bad for wasting all our time. But I was happy. Then I thought about it. Dee Dee, maybe you should just go to the party. Freddy's right, it would be good to see everybody again. You don't have to talk about football or wains, just get half cut and have a laugh. You might even bump into Leanne. We could just even be pals again. Who knows where this mad journey will take you. Your own. Yeah, me man, you there. What day is it today? Boxing day. 